Hi, and welcome to Meeting the Gas Mega Rules TVC Requirements on New Construction. My name is Natalie Klesnick, and I'm a Senior GIS Analyst at Petro IT. Along with my coworker Shalindra, we created this presentation. I hope you enjoy. The FEMSA Mega Rule, as it's commonly known, has caused operators to have to reevaluate many of their existing assets and be more proactive during the construction process. Let's start with a bit of information about FEMSA. FEMSA is a U.S. Department of Transportation agency that was created in 2004. They're responsible for developing and enforcing regulations for the safe, reliable, and environmentally sound operation of all pipelines operating within the U.S. The mega rule includes both gas and liquid pipelines. However, our project involves a gas pipeline, so I'll be referring to that portion of the rule moving forward in the presentation. The new gas mega rule essentially doubles previous regulations for onshore gas transmission with the goal of improving pipeline safety. With changing regulations for operations and increased requirements for reporting, oil and gas and engineering firms will need to ensure they're in complete compliance. As you can see on this slide, phase one of the rule states that these operators have until July 1st to have a plan in place. TVC documentation is an essential component of adhering to the mega rule requirements. Let's discuss what exactly TVC means. TVC records is a concept introduced by the NTSB in response to their investigation of the San Bruno incident that occurred in September 2010 when a natural gas pipeline owned by PG&E exploded in a residential neighborhood. The goal of introducing TBC records was to create accountability of natural gas pipeline assets through proper record keeping that supports pipeline safety measures. Here you can see on the slide the definition of traceable, verifiable, and complete according to FEMSA. Some common examples of TVC documentation include the MTR here on the left, which is a material testing record. Each piece of pipe needs to have one of these records associated and attached to it. All the way on the right, you're going to see the NDT document, which is the welding record. This gives us details about who made the weld, if the weld was accepted or rejected and had to be redone, and all sorts of other information that could be useful. In the middle, we have a photo. This is pretty typical to be attached to above ground facilities, especially. Using our GIS-based tracking and traceability solution, the Esri Web GIS platform provided secure access for all the relevant stakeholders to track project progress. The project was tracked and viewed by our client utilizing the Petro IT GIS web portal. The portal provided a view of the real-time data progress along with mega rule compliant as-built data being generated as the project progressed along. Here you can see our process workflow for attaining TBC compliance on new construction projects. First, in the field, we have a team capturing the data for the project. This data is then pushed up to PipeTrack IT and published on the cloud. Next, it's available for viewing by our client and all the relevant stakeholders through the Petro IT GIS web portal. Once the project is complete, the data is exported out into our Mosaic solution where the data is validated and completed and gaps are fulfilled. At the end, we generate a TBC compliant delivery in the required format of our client. For this example, I'll refer to a 90 mile pipe, 32 inches in diameter, carrying gas across the Northeast from Pennsylvania to West Virginia. It was a multiple years in approval to get this project and the compliance needs were very high. So they utilized our pipe track IT solution because nothing could afford to go wrong. 
One of the first tasks we performed for the project was to configure the engineering design data. This data is used by the project stakeholders to compare what's being constructed real time to the original design information. This slide shows some of our available analysis of the design versus as-built data once it's been uploaded. On the right in the list, you'll see all the issues and errors that were found when comparing the two data sets. From the very beginning of the project, material and supply chain logistics were tracked from the manufacturer along with related source documentation. Records were then spatially oriented by linking the material to construction activity, inspections, and survey data from the field. By clicking on any feature in the portal, the project stakeholders were able to view the attributes associated with the selected material. Stakeholders were also able to download or view linked documentation, as well as view the completeness of attributes for all configured material within the database. Here you can see an example of the pipe attributes like diameter, wall thickness, coating, and length. During construction, the progress of activities in the field can be tracked. Specific information like welding activities can be easily monitored. Stakeholders were able to access graphs and reports available at the click of a button. As you can see on this slide, there are several different graph options for quick high-level view of project details and progress. On the left, we have pipe type. In the center, we can see welding repair. And on the right, we can see our crossings. As the project progressed, our client was able to verify all the required documentation was linked to the correct material. Document verification came in handy when they discovered some materials that didn't have documentation attached. This gave the client ample time to gather the missing documentation from vendors before the project ended and they had dispersed. Once a project ends, it's much harder to track down any documentation that ends up missing. It's nice to have an early heads up about any gaps, and it's also essential in making sure the pipeline is in FEMSA compliance. When construction on your project comes to an end, that's when our mosaic solution comes into play. First, we configured the data model using our client standards. And once the project data was imported into mosaic from PipeTrack, the user was able to view and manipulate the data. Once data is uploaded, a quick validation is performed on all the records. Documents, were uploaded and attached to relevant project records as well. After data has been validated, errors can be reviewed. The errors are indicated in red and when you hover over them with a mouse, a message pops up describing the specific issue found, such as mandatory attribute missing or overlap stationing. You can see a few examples in this slide. The data can be corrected on the fly or by editing the source data and then revalidating it. Documentation gathered by pipe track and then verified through the GIS web portal can now be uploaded and linked to the final records. Having documentation actually linked to the record ensures that there's no issue finding the documentation at a later date. As soon as your data is uploaded, it validates and you can export a gap report almost instantly. Some people prefer this way of reviewing the errors. The format is a spreadsheet and the first tab is a high level summary view of all the errors that you'll find in the corresponding tabs in the same spreadsheet. Once you click on a different tab, you can follow the highlights to the errors 
that were found in that specific data set. The final step in our process, once the data was corrected and documentation linked, was to export into our client specified format. Data can be exported into several different types of formats, as you can see demonstrated on the slide. These data export files are typically imported into an operator's enterprise database using their facility management tool. Once the project was complete, Mosaic helped us provide an easy, seamless handover for all the project data and associated documentation in the client's required format. This TVC compliant delivery is able and ready to withstand a FEMSA audit of the newly constructed pipeline. The key benefits to our process workflow are the traceability of the materials as the project is happening, which is captured in the field utilizing PipeTrack IT, the tracking, which can be done through the Petro IT GIS web portal as the project progresses, being sure that everything is going as planned, and the compliance that happens when Mosaic is utilized to be sure everything is within TBC compliance to meet FEMSA standards. So to summarize, the new FEMSA mega rule requires gas and liquid assets to be constructed and documented according to more stringent regu regulations than previously. Being sure your asset is constructed as prescribed and that the required documentation is being gathered and linked is essential to keeping it TBC compliant as required by the mega rule. Our GIS portal solution, which is ESRI based, is a central source that presents the project data on the map with relevant spatial data linked to documentation, therefore providing easy access to proof of TBC compliance as the project progresses. If you have any questions about this presentation or one of our products, do feel free to reach out to either Shalindra or myself or the generic Petro IT page. You can see the information here at the bottom of this page. I really appreciate your attention and I hope that this was helpful and I hope that you're enjoying the conference and have a wonderful day.